this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. Man, we had a real great Bible study this morning. We talked about Romans 6 that says to be cardinally minded as death or be spiritually minded as life and peace. We talked about the fact is that we really did uh, dig down into the scriptures, the, the, the challenge of things that goes against all of us for the peace of mind. The peace of mind is it passes all understanding. And we, we, we focus on the fact that the last week that we're no longer under the law. You know, I love some people say they want the law. We have to have the law because we need these guardrails. And we already realize from history, those guardrails have fallen, have failed to keep us to do the right thing. But the guardrails of love, John 13, 34, so this is a new commandment I've given to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. So we, <laughs> we want to be able to start operating in love, man, love for one another. See, Romans 8 verse 1 said, there's now therefore no condemnation to those in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. We even know the fact is that in, 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 the, in the scriptures that you're going to see in the Bible study, we even know the fact is that those are in the flesh cannot please God and that the laws of God are not subject to them. Oh, that's a marvel thing for people to understand. We try to put the law on people, but the laws of God is not subject to those who are in the flesh. Being carnally minded, you are not under the laws of God because you're already condemned. This is talking about having a eternal life in Christ Jesus. Those who don't believe in eternal life, they're already condemned. Those who don't want to believe in Jesus Christ, they're already condemned. But those of us who have received Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior, we have eternal life. And we're not, we're not cardinally minded, but we're spiritually minded, and spiritually minded being word minded. So really take a look at the study that we did today, this Sunday, and I guarantee you'll love it. And the other piece we found out too, and I want to study a little bit more that I want you to study on with me as well, look into it until the next time we talk, is the difference between feeling and believing. See, John 3.16 says, To God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So he interested the fact he said, believe, right? And then we talk about feelings. And, and the fact is that sometimes we feel like something ain't right. We sometimes say we, we may believe some people, I believe people think in this way about me, but you don't really, you have nothing, your foundation of belief is not in believing in God, but believing in your feelings, and your feelings, in most cases, is based derived from your senses. And then if you go by your senses, and which means your flesh, Romans 7 said, in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. So let's think about that and study that a little bit more. I want you to meditate on until the next time we, we have a study. Feeling versus believing. I really believe and believe in God, not believe in my ability, not believe in your ability, not believe in the world ability, not believe in man's ability. See, even we have a situation dealing with racism. <laughs> Somebody's believing in their flesh. The son that believe in the flesh, but the, the, the of superiority based on their white. Some believe in the flesh based on superiority of, the, of being black. Those beliefs has weak foundations. Believing in God has the power and the might of God. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next Sunday. We also have Thursday night videos, a live session, so you're welcome to join there as well. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight, and don't forget we love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. It was great study. Please take time to look at it. All right. Hope you enjoy the videos. Bye. <laughs>
Uh, if, you know, verse one through five is talking about them uh, challenging Jesus, fault finding Jesus because the disciples weren't washing their hands, right? And then Jesus said there and answered in verse six, he said, Jesus answered and said unto them, well has Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites. As it is written, huh? Blows my mind right here because yeah. Jesus didn't hold no punches. Come on. He, he, look, he just, in these people's face, called them hypocrites. Hypocrites. He, he he called them hypocrites in a roundabout way. Yes, sir. by saying that this is who Isaiah was talking. About. You are who Isaiah was talking about when he prophesied yeah. <laughs> about yeah. people yeah. honoring me with their lips, yes. but not from their hearts. Exactly, 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 brother. And that's what we need to get. I think, that, like you said, is it, Jesus. When Jesus was tempted by the devil, he said, "It is written." Remember that his response is, "It is written." What 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 the enemy wants us to go by is what we feel. Yeah. Opposed to what's written, and you know, I, I meant to interject to you another one, but when you were talking, was don't forget, the just shall live by faith. Wow. Yeah. Uh, right. It is. You don't live by your feelings. <laughs> you don't live by your feelings. You can't live by your feelings because if your feelings is based on your senses, you're in trouble. Yeah, and you're supposed to live by faith. The <laughs> just shall live by faith. Come on, bro. Faith. Faith <laughs> come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. And so then. If the faith comes by the word of God, then Ooh. when it, that faith is the substance of things hoped for, Ooh. the word of God, the evidence of things not seen, yes. the word of God. Come so on. The, it's, it's all right there. So the, the important thing is to renew your mind. It, yep. it is so obvious. It is so simple. It, yeah. is, it is made to be as simple as but as hard as it can be. <laughs> because it, it, it is hard for a carnal-minded man to yeah. renew his mind with the word of God. Yes. Because a carnal-minded man will only get the letter uh -huh. of the word of God. Right. But a man of God who is living according to the spirit will have the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, to bring all truth. Yes, sir. The fullness of truth and the revelation of what God has to say. What God about. has to say. About the and seven. that is the difference. When the Holy Spirit, when you hear and hear by the word of God. Come on, brother. You're hearing the Holy Spirit then that is the faith that is being manifested within you to go through the fire. Because when you hear God say something. When God says something. Come on now. When, when God, God says something. Happens. You yes. move on it, right? And yes. it's not based on your feelings. not based on the circumstances. You look, know, when the look. king says go, the go. subject go. Go. Oh, oh, his promises, right? And look, matter of fact, I, let's he put an even more balance in it too. Is you remember numbers? You remember numbers right here? And they went into the, the spies went into the promised land, right? The mm -hmm. spies went into the promised land, and and look at the response of Caleb, and look at verse thirty, and look at the response of the rest of them after that. But let's just go by Caleb first, right? What what Caleb said. Caleb said, look, let's go. Let's go possess this thing. He, all he did was to re repeat what God told him. Come on now. Because he said it, right? It's a promised land, right? It was yeah. promised to them. Yes. Yeah. See, see, he's going see, by the word, huh? Caleb, Caleb was walking in the spirit. He was walking in the spirit. All the same. 
Come on. He was walking according to the, he wasn't walking in the spirit because the spirit wasn't with him at that time. Right. But he right. was walking according to the spirit, which is walking according to what he experienced by God before Come this time. Come on now. And Come on. You know that God brought you out of slavery and bondage and abuse and 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 substitute and 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 just craziness. And then he protected you from an army. Come on. He opened up a sea for you to walk across dry land. Come on. He put a fire at night for you to follow. Oh. He, 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 he put a cloud by day for you to, to know that he's there with you. Yes. He gave you food every day and water from a rock. The water did not exist. Come on now. Come on. The clothes never decayed. Come on. You lacked for nothing that was a necessity for life in yes, existence. Sir. You for nothing. Come on. And all that, I believe, was the basis of Caleb. Let's go do this. This is I'm right. Ready. He's right. I'm ready. He, you he, have an expectation of victory when you know God is there on your side. And he had God, right? He knew it was a promise too, right? He knew, oh, yeah. he he knew, knew that it was a promise. promise. Come on. It was told to him. It, it was told to them, brother. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so Caleb, Caleb had a different mindset. Mindset. You know, I believe oh. Caleb, Caleb's mind was renewed. <laughs> he didn't have slave mentality you know <laughs> he wasn't he didn't have that mind that was just locked in poverty his on, mind now. was renewed. <laughs> his mind was renewed these other folks their minds were still unrenewed and they were still caught up in a bondage type lifestyle to where all they did was take orders and they could not take orders from any one unless they were abusing it. So that's like an abusive relationship. Yeah. You need to fall short and, and, and your efforts are dictated towards you instead of you having a choice to go to victory. Right. Right. And, he and, he... and, and, and experience victory prior to you got this, this freedom to go and take it. Right. It, it, he, yeah. <laughs> he you know, there, there, look, everything you need to live a better life. Yes, sir. Milk and honey. Come on now. Look, gardens that you didn't have to plant, homes yes. that you didn't have to build. Come on. The fields that you didn't have to cultivate. Come on now. Come on. And and yet there's right there. And well, nah, like you said, we, 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 